The FDNY RSOE exam will test your knowledge and understanding of centrifugal and reciprocating chiller systems. This video is provided for the purpose of familiarizing you with the different aspects and functions associated with the exam solution. Please note that each question in the exam requires that tasks are completed in a specific order. Failure to complete the tasks in the required order will result in failing to answer the question correctly. The FDNY RSOE walkthrough practice test was designed specifically for the purpose of allowing users to become familiar with the exam solution before taking the actual exam. The questions in the walkthrough will not be on the actual exam. First, let's click on the centrifugal button. Do not be concerned if it appears that nothing is occurring. It can take up to 30 seconds for the centrifugal model to load. Once the model has loaded, the user will see an entire three-dimensional model of a centrifugal chiller system and the connected piping for each of the components of a centrifugal chiller system. The components in the model are not real components, but instead are computer representations of those objects. The components in the chiller model are color-coded using industry standard colors for each type of component. We will cover the color coding at this time, but please note that the color coding is also contained in a reference document at the bottom of the exam window for your reference during the exam. Dark blue equals electronic valves and components. Light blue equals evaporator and cold water components and piping. Brown equals contaminant filtration, venting, and drain components. Tan equals condenser components and piping. Red equals surface condenser components and piping. Black equals non-electronic valves. Gray equals gauges and oil components and piping. Orange equals turbine components and piping. Green equals compressor components and piping. The bottom area of the screen is known as the toolbox. The left side of the toolbox contains the operating conditions and spec sheets for each of the chillers. You will be required to reference those documents during the exam. The toolbox also contains images of different tools and types of equipment. You will be required to select items from the list of tools and equipment in the toolbox as a part of answering some questions on the exam. The right side of the screen contains the list of exam questions. This note is very important. The currently selected question is the question that answers will be submitted to. Please make sure, while answering questions on the test, that the correct question is selected. Selecting the question is as simple as clicking on the question. After clicking on a question, the user will see a label that says, your submitted selections will appear below. Notice the remove, move up, and move down buttons. Those buttons allow the user to remove an answer from the list of submitted answers, as well as rearrange the order of those answers. The order of the answers is very important to passing the exam successfully. The left side of the screen is known as the navigation bar. This is how the user moves around in the three-dimensional model. For example, if the user clicks the expansion tank button in the navigation bar, the entire three-dimensional model will rotate to the back right side and the user will be looking at the expansion tank components. Clicking on the left button rotates the user's view to the left side of the expansion tank components. Each of the buttons in the sides section of the navigation bar are designed specifically to allow users to see each component from any direction. The user can also adjust their view of an object. The move up button moves the user's view upwards. The move down button does the opposite. Move left moves the user's view to the left and move right button moves the user's view to the right. These buttons can be helpful in viewing an object. Additionally, the zoom slider allows the user to zoom in and out while looking at an object in the model. Note that when the user clicks on one of the objects in the model, it turns green. The selected object can be hidden by clicking the Hide button at the top of the navigation bar. Clicking the Show All button will cause all hidden objects to become visible again. The selection of objects in the three-dimensional model prepares the user to start answering questions. After selecting and reading a question, the user can then select an object in the three-dimensional model and submit their answers to the question. Looking at the first question in the list, the question says, select condenser pump one from the navigation bar. Identify the condenser pump one motor and pump assembly. Please note that the term identify means to select and submit that object in the three-dimensional model. Clicking the yellow submit 
button at the bottom left of the navigation bar is how the object is submitted as the answer to the selected question. If the user wants to verify their answers before clicking the Question Completed button, they can select an object in the model and click the Object Info button at the bottom of the navigation bar. This will pop up a message showing the user the object ID of the selected object. Comparing object IDs with those in their list of answers allows users to confidently complete each question. After the user has reviewed their answers to the question, they should click the Question Completed button to lock in their answer. In the walkthrough practice test, when the user answers the question correctly, they are informed that they have answered the question correctly or incorrectly. Users are not given this feedback information during the actual exam. Please note that the control panels on the centrifugal chillers have been enhanced to reflect real-world control panels more closely. Certain questions will require the user to navigate to the appropriate screen of the control panel. Properly identifying the correct information on the control panel is important to completing many questions on the exam successfully. Clicking the Question Completed button will also cause the question to become grayed out. This means that the answer to the question can no longer be changed. This is why users should review their answers because they will not be able to change the answer to a question after they have completed the question. Sometimes questions will have status information associated with an object. That status information is shown above the list of questions. Additionally, the FDNY RSUI testing solution is gradually being enhanced to more closely match the real-world experience of an actual chiller technician. The focus of these enhancements is gauges and control panels. Pressure gauges and temperature gauges are being animated as the FDNY RSUI testing solution continues to be enhanced. An example of this enhancement can be seen by zooming in on the condenser pump one electrical panel and turning condenser pump one off. This action will cause the pressure shown on the input and output pressure gauges to change. This is done to help the user gain a better sense of what happens in the real world when these actions are performed. An additional example of this enhancement can be found on the refrigerant recovery unit located under the miscellaneous section of the navigation bar. While effort has been made to make the status shown on gauges accurate, users should not solely rely on those readings to answer a question unless the question specifically instructs them to do so. Once all questions have been completed, the user should click the All Questions Completed button at the bottom of the list of questions. After doing so, the user will be sent to the next part of the exam. If the user has completed both the centrifugal and reciprocating portions of the exam, the user will see a green button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. For the walkthrough, the green button will launch the actual exam. Once the actual exam is completed, clicking the green button will take the user to a screen showing their grade for the exam. The New York Fire Department would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial video, and we look forward to your successful completion of the FDNY RSOE exam.